Now in the third dungeon, two routes are available. The one key or the no key route. For the moment, I'll go through the one key route. This one is slightly slower, but much easier. More so, when you'll want to learn the no key route, nothing learned here will be invalidated. The only key we'll need is the one dropped by killing all the green slimes in this room. Once you grabbed it, blow up the wall and head to the ledge just after the two dodongos. Hold your sword to the left and line up Link's boot with the line on the floor's texture. This lineup is very precise and why you only have two or three pixels for it to work. So take your time in your first few attempts. Once aligned, drop a bomb. Small trick in order to go faster, drop the bomb, then release your sword. You'll skip the spin attack. Take the bomb and head straight right, and only right. As soon as you see Link leave the floor, smash left. You're now out of bounds. While Link raises up in the air, hold down left and count four Link's step. Then hold full left. If you want to accelerate this long movement to the left, I'd explain a few details about out of bound movement. The top part of the walls in Link's Awakening Switch all have a slant in a direction, generally towards the closest valid surface. For this dungeon, I'd like to imagine that the visual wall is simply duplicated upwards and slightly higher in order to make the hitbox. This should show you why Link raises up after the glitch. Also, if Link ends up in a space where its hitbox is not fully supported by the surface under him, the game will nudge him in the direction that he's facing. The only time where this rule is broken is if you are going in the same direction as the slant. The game would then make you slide to try and help you go back in bounds faster. You don't need a huge angle in order for the slide to occur. A few degrees should be enough.